we're in a post-electronic phase, because the electronic phase of the 30s and 40s and 50s is obsessed with mechanization. That's why the Bauhaus uh, failed, but some of those Bauhaus guys came over and they made these huge skyscrapers, right? Mm. In New York and Chicago and that. Why did people go for that? boring, flat, modernist uh, kind of design and architecture, which, you know, later generations thought was so impersonal, it's because they were fascinated by the previous era, the, the slabs of industry from the 19th century. So here we are in a new place with this weird digital cloud computing. What are we going to be obsessed with? Right, right. The electrical phase or analog media phase. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So we're always, this is a very mechanical pattern, but on the broad level, it's undeniable. You know, we have a call. One second, Bob. Okay. Awesome show, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, the, uh, the electric media, it's really done a number on people. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, now, look at that statement, Evan. Yes. He's standing from the digital phase where all the electric media has shrunk. And he's looking back at what the electric harp did to people, and he can say it did a number. Because we don't, we're not conditioned by the electric media anymore. Well, look what electric media, well, sure it did a number on you guys. <laughs> but it's still... what all the Huxley was saying about Orwell when he wrote Brave New World? That, that Orwell, that did a number on you guys. I'm going to make another book about sex and soma. That's what the Brave New World's going to be about. It's just interesting the way he's saying it. You get what I'm trying to say, that he's standing on a, a top of a mountain, a digital mountain, because he has, Scott has his own show. He's on the same network as I am, Achieve Radio. And uh, he can create his own little empire of, of, of talk and old media. And, I, and what is he saying? We're offering critique about what electricity did on you guys. But no, electricity is not really affecting people anymore. Mm. It's this digital cloud computing and the ionic environment. Okay, hi. That is a hidden ground. Empire of lives, Bob. What? It's an empire of lives, Bob. No. Let's see, that, it's, there's no lying going on. No, lying died in the First World War, about 1914, or if you want to make it a little later, 1934, news speak. But once you have a TV reality where there's so much endless content required, nobody worries about the truth anymore. You just start making it up and making stories, and millions of people get jobs making stories. <laughs> it's so, and then the postmodernists like Heidegger come on and say, you know, there's no truth anymore. And so, not lying is not the critical level. That's that's verbal talk. That's me old media. That's analog. But you know what? Uh, uh, let's uh, Scott yeah, ask your question because I really want to get back into this JFK kind of thing. And we're so glad that you're up late, sir. Well, yeah. Well, uh, you're going into JFK. I'll ask you a question. So, Bob, were you involved in the assassination of JFK? And if so, how does that relate to the other stuff you're talking about? Okay. Well, if, you read, if you read my diary, I, uh, I certainly I knew Hoover since the 50s. And if you go look up my diary entry for about 1954 and see what I say to Hoover, I give, I give away and tell you what the peccadillo of Hoover was in his resentment of the, uh, of the Kennedy. Hoover had a thing about the Catholics. He was not going to allow the Catholics to take over America for whatever perverse Protestant reason he had or Freemasonic reason. And that is the personal thing that he had against the Kennedys, besides all the other technical bureaucratic problems, is that he, didn't, he, he thought there was a Catholic conspiracy against America. Okay, so you can read that in my diaries, and you can find out what I, who I talked to. I'm, I'm driving down the... Uh, well, anyways, there's really interesting in, diary entries in 64 and 65 uh, after the Kennedy assassination. Basically, there's one where I'm whipping down uh, Park Avenue, Fifth Avenue, with uh, David Ferry, and we're listening to uh, uh, a great song, uh, Crying. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, we'll get lots of that. So, back to here, uh, 